Hey, everybody, we are back for part three, the third session on Bo Nix. We have so much film, we can't get it all into one or even two takes. But Tony, the GM, is back with me, and we're ready to give you more of Bo Nix analysis. Hey, Tony. How are you, Jeremy? Now, we got to start this one with the same thing. We're looking at quite a bit of film, okay? It's not a highlight film. We're looking at the good and the bad of a quarterback. You also need to discuss the situation repeatedly of where a quarterback's coming from. Competition he's playing. He's not playing high-level competition. We need to make that clear, okay? It's not like he's doing it against Alabama. Now let's go to the next day. All right, first play of this video. We have him alone in the backfield. Scott. All day to throw. Right, and he makes a nice short pass. It's a good college play, right? But I'm not exactly using this as a reason to go to my general manager and say, we got to get this guy. Because if you give him three minutes in the pocket, he's able to throw a 10 yard pass. And it wasn't the, the, by the way, it wasn't a perfect throw, right? And he does that a lot too. He throws at the receivers, which could cost you some yak. You see how that receiver has to come back and catch it by his leg, his lower leg? Let's take a look at that again. Watch where he catches this ball, Tony. All that time, he couldn't lead him. That receiver had to reach down and slow down his momentum to catch that football. Right. And this is consistent with his tape also, if you look. You know, he has he's decent at leading up the field. Mm -hmm. Right. When he's actually leading on a go on, uh, on a corner, something going deeper up the field. He's, he's decent with that. He shows good touch. But the crossing patterns, he is a little bit behind on occasion. You know, something you might be able to, you know, a timing thing you might be able to work on and so forth. But, you know, it's something you really need to take a good look at. Yeah, Mike. And my concern, again, if he does that exact play under pressure, I'm like, fine. He was under a lot of pressure. He got the ball out and he got it there. But we're talking about he had all the time in the world and that receiver was wide open. Right. This is a nitpick. This is something, if you're looking at it, you know, on a real scout's point, point of view, this is what you you need to look at, okay? Because the, the drafting quarterbacks, they continuously make the same exact mistakes over and over. You know, they're drafting, drafting physical tools instead of act, actual traits, okay? Handle and pressure is something that you're not born with, okay? You, you, have, you have to... You're born with it. You can't just develop that, okay? If you can't, you could develop throwing motion. You could say, okay, let's change his motion and make him more accurate. But he's not throwing a bad ball, okay? He's throwing an accurate ball. But everything else seems to be pretty tight with him. So this is an issue. There's not much to improve on him. He put a lot of work into himself. No, okay? I, yeah. Correct? No, Absolutely. All right, you ready to take uh, take a look at the next play? Yeah. Plenty of time. I don't even see where that went. Looks like an interception. He threw a pick. I got to see what happened there because he had plenty of time. Got to see it from a better angle. Now this is rare on his tape. The reason is he protects the ball. Look where he throws it to that receiver. See, it's not like he didn't make a misread or a dumb mistake or didn't see the defender. It's nothing like that. This is pure inaccuracy. This is pure. He had the receiver that he could have thrown wide open. Look where these two defenders are. They're behind the receiver. If he throws ahead of the receiver, toward in between the receiver and the sideline, that's an easy completion. Right? Correct, and there's a little bit of what there, a little bit of pressure. You know, he has to speed up. He's feeling the, it coming in on him a little bit. Correct? Yeah. All right, that, that's, that's an issue. 
Okay, the pockets start going on, he has to move a little, he feels hurried, and that's what you get. That's a danger sign, okay? You, you, you're diving into the unknown here on pressure. Yeah, you know, when you see uh, when you see that like the the how 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 rare it is that he's under pressure and then he does that, it's scary because it makes you think, "Wow, is that what it's going to look like in the NFL?" Because even in college, that was under pressure, but in the NFL, he still had what people would consider an okay amount of time on that play. It wasn't. Right. It didn't. It didn't collapse. Exactly. In, it it didn't collapse inside two and a half seconds. He still had the two and a half seconds that you're expected to be able to be okay with in the NFL. Uh, the one thing you got to say here, okay, you don't see any broken play extensions uh, from him where he's extending a play and looking up the field and adding something to it. The only thing you might see is a little bit going to the right occasionally. I think he has one play where he runs around the backfield and and, and actually completes the pass. Okay, that is an extended play. That's him five years of film. Okay, you don't see him add in to the play. Hardly ever. Do you see that, or am I correct? What do you think? No, I'm not seeing it. I look for it, too. I mean, we look for multiple games. You're going to see we're playing. You know, we got a lot of uh, the UNC game, but, you know, we've already seen Auburn versus Georgia, out versus Alabama. I mean, and um, and it's going to be Utah as well. So, we're, we're you know, we, we watched a lot of footage, and we're just not finding those plays, and they might be there in other games. But if you're drafting an NFL quarterback – you want to see that evidence, you know, at least a few times a game. You want to see these plays multiple times, you know, each game. Like there should be, there should be NFL type passes, quality passes in in every game, at least a couple of times. There should be something you could point to to say, wow, that's something not every college quarterback could do. Right. And you want to know what? I'm not seeing it on on the arm strength throws, you know, the tight windows throws at all. Okay, uh, you might see a handful against less the competition in five years. That's not good. Okay, yeah. I mean, I'm not being harsh here. You, you have to figure the reality what you need to do, what you need to work on with this kid. Yeah, I thought we, sh I thought we started uh, the first video with like two or three nice plays to start that were very good, where he did kind of put him in there, squeeze him in. Um, but since that, I started with those three videos because I wanted to show after all the other tape, you see, I'm just not finding that quality footage anymore. Right. And, and that's a very important because you're going up to the pros. Uh, obviously, you know, with a little bit of work on his touch on a short passing game, very poor speed, you could work on that a little. Okay. Uh, he doesn't have an issue with the, with the bottom quarter of the route tree, you know, the, the, throwing it to the flat, the short slant, he, 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 he could be okay. But you're going to need the tight window throws, big time in the pros. And you're going to be able to need, you know, uh, throw it touch deep, you know, with consistency. I'll give him that, but he needs more arm strength on that, I believe. Correct? Yeah. No, absolutely. Let's watch this play. So I try to get my dog to stop crying. Look at this. All, all his receivers are out there. His line still gives him a lot of time. Missed throw. He doesn't do this all the time. He's made some good throws in the red zone. But, I mean, we're trying to show everything, not just highlights. Now, people miss throws. I mean, quarterbacks. Oh, Absolutely. It just feels like when they're not wide open, you know, like he needs lots of time and he needs NFL open. I mean, college open way too often. That's that, you know, I'm not trying to be too harsh or too, um, you know, too much of a critic. He makes some good end zone throws in the red zone, but, and every quarterback makes inaccurate throws, but the highlights don't show it. So they overhype 
not just him, but so many quarterbacks because you're looking at 30 plays where they're all touchdowns. Uh, we went over every single touchdown. I, I challenge anybody out there, you know, we need input, okay? We want to make the right decision on the actual quarterback. So if you guys want to comment on particular throws that you might have seen that we should add in or talk about, we're glad to take a look. Okay. I mean, this is an in-depth look. It's not, you know, we're, we're unbiased. We have absolutely no association with any of these quarterbacks. We're, we're pro football fans. We'll enjoy a good college game. Okay. Would you say that a fair assumption? What do we? Absolutely. Right. I have nothing against these players. I mean, I live on the West Coast. I watch Oregon. I like Oregon. I was in love with the quarterback that was there that plays for the Chargers now in, uh, you know, in Herbert. Uh, so, yeah, there's there's I think it's very important to make that clear. We don't have favorites, you know, or quarterbacks we don't like or quarterbacks we like that would make this a waste of our time. Um, right. We are approaching this from. We're just looking at the player and the plays and we're looking through footage and I'm pulling out everything I think is relevant just to show what we look for when we're evaluating a quarterback. And if people think we're wrong, and you don't agree with us. That's fine. You don't have to agree with us because the th what I love about this, Tony, is that time is going to answer these questions. Like we're going to if we're completely wrong, that will show in time during his NFL career, and if we're right, that's going to show in time. So, exactly, and another yeah. thing, uh, we would love to be wrong. We want the kid to succeed. Sure. Right? Oh, absolutely, unless he plays right. for New England. Right. Now, you got to remember, <laughs> too, some things he might not be showing because his offensive coordinator and his coach is limiting him, okay? Zach Wilson didn't show long, you know, uh, go routes. That's because they might have been hiding his, you know, his inability to hit him. This kid, uh, you know, they're happy with him making one read. It's successful. Is he just running the offense, doing what he's told? Could he work on other things? We don't know that 100%. But we're looking at what we see, and we're making it. We're giving you an honest opinion. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and that's why that's the beauty of the game and why the game has to be played. There's... Always going to be outliers. There's always going to be guys that prove people wrong, prove the critics wrong, grow, even though, you know, we might say they're not able to grow. There's always going to be those outliers. So, you know, if we keep doing this for every quarterback every year, we'll eventually be wrong on one. I mean, we might be wrong on a lot. I don't know. We're going to see and find out. But how often do we have to be right versus how often do we have to be wrong until we're credible? That, you know. And the other thing, as I said, I challenge any one of you guys to bring throws to show us that we're, we're, we're you know, I, I want to see more throws. I want to be able to say, okay, you know, this might work. Right. Okay. So comment on it. Talk about it. Tell us. Open to anybody out there. Okay. We'll, we'll go up. You know, whoever wants. It could be Sims. Sims could come on here and tell us we're wrong. We're more than happy, correct, Jeremy? More than happy. Okay. Um, let's watch. Let's watch one more play before we end for today. We're at the fifty-yard line, fades back again. He has a good amount of time, and throws a nice pass, and get and gets a touchdown. That that's definitely on his highlights. When you watch his highlights, you see that play. Now let's see. Do we consider this a draftable play? A reason why you draft a player? He's throwing to a fairly open guy. It's a good college play to me. I'm not going to critique it, but again, he wasn't under pressure. He had time. I mean, what do you think, Tony? It's a standard college play. I mean, certain throws you need to be able to hit or else you're not draftable. Okay? Uh, he could hit the throws, you know. He could hit certain throws. It's not, not something that... that jumps off the the film and says that he's drafted. Now he was he was also wide open when he threw it. And I'm not trying to be like I, I know that's gonna annoy a lot of people. Oh my god, you're picking apart everything. I'm just saying the truth. There's nothing wrong with it. It was a beautiful pass. 
It led to a touchdown. He did everything he was supposed to do. There's nothing negative about that play at all. I'm just saying if I'm looking for a quarterback, if I'm going to tell my general manager that we should use the 28th pick in the draft and we're looking for a quarterback we can like maybe have a year before under our starter, our starter's getting older, I can't go back to the GM and say draft him because of plays like that because he's able to throw to open receivers with lots of time in the pocket. I can't do it because there's 30 quarterbacks in college that would have done that play just as well, if not more, maybe 50. Correct. Um, anyway, that's going to wrap it up for today. That is part three. We have three installments so far, and guess what? There'll be a fourth because we still have footage to go over. Everybody, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, so it will tell you when the next video is available. It's coming soon. It's not going to be a long wait. I know some people are going to be into it and want it now, but we can't give it to you right now. We'll give it to you as soon as possible. Just remember to subscribe to the channel. Any final words for today, Tony? No, we're good to go. All right. We'll see everybody tomorrow. Thanks a lot, everybody.